Welcome to Draw Flowcharts in Hell with Mermaid.js. Hey, I'm Eric. And yeah, I know I did a video just, I don't know, a week ago about uh, drawing flow, flow charts in, in AL. And I had kind of chosen a random library, uh, uh, JavaScript library. And um, it, you know, the, the first few tests that looks pretty good. Uh, and then I put it into the app where I was going to use it. And the flow charts kind of look crappy. Um, and at the same time, a bunch of people, you guys, and I, and I, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Wrote me, hey, I, I want to, but I want to use Mermaid.js. And then suddenly I realized, hang on, like a year or two ago, I looked at something slightly different, and and Mermaid.js was also the the solution at that time. But I never actually got around to implement it. So I, I think I have a sticky note somewhere, uh, a digital sticky note uh, that says mermaid. That's kind of all uh, it is. So I um, I took a quick look at it and said, hmm, it's probably doable. Uh, so I thought, you know what, we're just going to do another flowchart video. Uh, and this time we let's try to see if we can grab what we had and just quickly shovel mermaid in uh replace what we had uh, with mermaid um hold my beer i guess is the uh expression we gotta use right now um so i um i made a quick copy of of the app we we created and uh and this is this is it so somewhere i have let's see where we are I found mermaid and it looks that it can do it can do cool things uh, uh, so how do we implement it and I, I look down here and it's all about uh, tutorials there's a lot tons of stuff um, but but what I found was basically down here. First of all, it says, hey, there's CDN. So the usual way I, I go about this when, when I need to add something uh, to, to Business Central is I find a CDN, a content delivery network, somewhere where I can just get um, I just could point to and, and, and get a package from. And this one looks, usually I also, you know, you, you Google and then you say uh, mer, mermaid.js CDN. And um, I grab the first one here and there's a link, right? Cloudflare, that's flare, that looks good. So let's go in in this app and then get rid of this thing and add the link the CDN link in um, so we don't want this in a uh, in a node package kind of way because we're not really running we're not running node uh, um, so we just want the library and uh, while we add it let's clean up now it does, doesn't matter uh, so now we have this thing so let's look at uh, go back and look at the because I think I found there was a page just before I started the video there was a page saying hey okay so you need to initialize initialize after you have received the uh, the module you need to need to initialize it so we got a place to, to do that we can do that in startup Let's just get rid of all this. It really doesn't matter. There's too much junk here. So we want to do initialize. And I think in this case, we're actually not going to start on load because we don't have anything to show at this point. So the way I understand it, you guys keep me honest in the comments. The way I understand it that, that with Mermaid, you can either have the source of the chart as in an element in your in your web page as uh, some sort of a data element 
or we can load it dynamically. And I think we want to do the last thing. So in that case, start on load should be false. So here we should be able to initialize it. Um, and then I think the only, oh, not the only thing, but so we have a draw function here. And if, if all this is a, hey, hang on, you got a draw function, then go check the other video where we actually wrote this code. But, but basically, this is a function that we'll call from AL to, to draw something. So let's retire this one um, and, and create a new one. one function draw code. Um, and let's go look at, I think somewhere here we, we got some examples of how to to do this uh, i think this one is the best one uh, we can i think we can simplify this so mermaid.mermaid api.render and then we need to tell the name of the control that we're replacing, I think, and what name it should have again. And the code and then a function called insert SVD, because in reality, what it does is generate an SVD uh, image. It's a vector format. Uh, and then there's you create a function here that assigns that to something so i think we can we can sort of do the same thing uh, let's encapsulate this in a try catch because we know how it goes here sometimes we need to figure out what goes on um, so let's create that const insert svd equal that was a function and what did it take it took we can just grab this let's grab this code to begin with and then element.innerhtml in reality that's so i think we can just actually you know so to document dot hi where did my cursor go got get element by id and then let's get simply get the control add in div um, dot inner html is the code for our svg so that is perfect so we have a function that can right now render it so the only thing i think we need to do is doing mermaid dot mer not media media stream order destination node go away this code you're drunk mermaid api dot render and i think we need to hang on so we need to supply here they so to find something that has a class I, I'm, I'm gonna go with chart here just as a new name. We're gonna pass code in, and then we're gonna use insert SVG. Huh, hit a five. Here goes nothing, or Syntax error in graph. I think that's okay because right now we don't have a graph. So let's. So I found this before I started the video. I, I, I found this page uh, 9724 mermaid cheat sheet. Um, and this one will tell us how to build a graph. So if I just grab graph tb top bottom 
and go from A to B. And put that and put that in here. And I exit out. Hey, <laughs> okay. So, hang on. I, because I was kind of confused with some of this. Error note your diagram type detected for text. I think that's okay because I think our old code is drawing at trying to draw when we load it and we don't want to do that. Um, okay, let, let's <laughs> Let's uh, let's look at the cheat sheet again. Uh, how about this one? Okay, okay, we need something more clever. Subgraphs. See, this this library is way more advanced than the, the first one. Um, okay, okay, let's scroll. I think there are some comments, but here's a sequence diagram. There we go. Here we go. Um, That was almost too easy, <laughs> kind of. Anyway, that, that was a, okay, let's actually go back here for a second and, and repeat what we did for those who dosed off while we were. So I found the, the library in a, in a content uh, delivery network, uh, Cloudflare. I could also just download this file and added it just like I added these. Um, then I, um, in the startup script, there were a initialization function. I could probably also have called that here in my draw function. So in reality, it takes the initialization line, and then we need a render line that needs a delivery function. And I actually think you can you can probably async all this uh, if if you want to, um, and, and get a graph object and all sorts of things. Um, but in this case, I just pass a function that will put the graph on the page. Um, with the other tool in, in the place where I am implementing this, I, I changed this a bit. So I added a div with scroll bar. So, so in case of a, a very, a very big uh, chart, I would, could scroll in it, but let's do one more. Let's do just do one more. Where's this? It's the cool one. Like this one, it's that's. Class definition greens and hang on, let's see. Can we do this here? We can. Huh. I guess I need to learn how to actually create mermaid charts now. But there's probably plenty of information on 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 how to do that uh, on, on the internet. This is how you put it inside Business Central. Um, if you need more AL programming, you know where to look. Check out this video. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.